Good morning. Good morning, Marvel fans. Good morning, masterminds. It is bright and early. I haven't even washed my face yet. I woke up to sign in to work, working from home, and I checked my feed, and Marvel just dropped the Shang-Chi trailer with no warning whatsoever. So I called my good friend Mikey, who was scarfing down his bagel. Yeah, yeah. My- I found the, the, the best costume I could last minute. Excuse our lighting and everything. It's, it's not our usual setup. And I oh, know this is like fresh reaction, like us. Fresh reaction, fresh reaction. Yes. And I know these are Green Lantern rings, but they're the best thing I can come up with right now. Uh, um. uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Makalon rings, man. Ready? Ancient technology. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not bury the lead. All right, you ready? Let's, let's yeah. watch this, okay? <laughs> oh snap Okay. All right. All right. Let me let me close this window here. Okay. What's funny is that there's a lot of little things to unpack there. Okay. So, um, disclaimer. My disclaimer is, I I know nothing about Genshi. Like nothing. No. Real quick. Uh huh. It's based on a book called. Um, um, the Deadly Hands of Kung Fu it was um, published in like 74. Okay. But um, the modern, they wanted to bring that character back and they had a modern um, five issue like release a couple of years ago, actually. Uh huh. Yeah. M- Mikey knows much more about this character than I do. Again, I know a lot of stuff about Marvel and DC and everything, but this character is completely off my radar. Growing up, I never had a comic book card of him. Uh, he never kind of featured in anyone else's comics. Usually, that's how you got to know characters. So I'm going into this movie blind. All I know is they're putting uh, the Mandarin in here, finally. Yeah, it's a good way to um, um, kind of fold him back into the MCU because he was kind of there if you watch Hail to the King, which should have been the ending of Iron Man 3. Correct. Yeah. So if we, if the audiences remember the uh, Iron Man three, actually the uh, the villain was supposed to be the Mandarin, but it was a whole fake out, and it really wasn't him. He was played 
by Ben Kingsley, who was playing a character that was playing the Mandarin. And it was horrible. It was really horrible. Um, so now we're getting Mandarin proper. Um, so the only thing I do know about this is uh, Simu Lu is the main actor. I know he's in Kim's Convenience, which is hilarious. Um, that's all I know him from. And I do know that I think in the comics, he plays the son of a different villain. But I think in this one, they're making him the son of, uh, of uh, the Mandarin. They're, they're kind of switching the story around. That's something I didn't know, but um, I know the um, old book is really wacky and um, has it's they give a lot of excuses to have um, Iron Fist hang around. Okay, that would make sense that him and Iron Fist would, would hang around a lot. Um, what did you think? I don't know. I'm like, I'm impressed, but at the same time, it's one of those, um, I hope it resurrects um, a Hong Kong action. Mm -hmm. China kind of gave up on it for a little bit in hopes that they make more high high budget movies like us. Yeah, but it's neat to see a high budget like Hong Kong cinema style Marvel movie might reinvigorate that. Right, right. So not only are we getting a Marvel movie, but we're getting a Marvel kung fu movie, which is something again I never thought I'd I'd say. But again, Marvel's good for. Uh, working with different genres, right? They can do Captain America, like espionage type films. They can do the high fantasy, like Doctor Strange. Uh, they can do, you know, the science fiction. But now they're going into the Kung Fu thing. And I think that's cool. I have nothing to compare it to. So I don't, I don't, you know, I well, don't. Uh, think of, um, well, Hong Kong fantasy is something called Wuja. Hmm. And um, this is kind of like, an ultimate expression of that because Rouge is what um, Jet Li used to do with like wires. Think of like um, mm. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon and whatnot. Right. It's very reminiscent of that. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, I'm, it looks awesome. And I can't if wait Nothing to see else. It. it looks solid. Okay. So I did notice a detail though in there. Um, it's a really quick shot. Maybe I'll put up the screen capture a little bit, but um, it showed someone's arms and it had like 10 bands around it. So are they, how, is that how they're doing the rings? They're not doing the, the traditional I don't think so. rings? I don't think so. There's a couple of villains that are a little wacky. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what to analyze because I don't know what I'm looking for in terms of like I would with other Marvel movies. Um, so all I know is it looks sick. And I can't wait to see how it connects to the rest of the Marvel Universe, especially this phase four that we're coming up on with Doctor Strange and WandaVision, all, all these and uh, supposedly the new Spider-Man Spider-Verse and how that all fits in. It's like, all right, guys. Well, that was our trailer review. I don't know. Watch it or at least have a look at it. It's cooler than you think, but it's like rarer than you think. We're going to. Yeah. Uh, until next trailer, signing off, Mastermind. Peace.